So what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Crystal here and today I have an epic Dollar Tree haul for you. So if you want to see everything that I got, continue to watch. Guys, I started 2017 off with a Dollar Tree haul, so why not end it with an epic Dollar Tree haul? And the reason I call it epic is because for the first time in my history of shopping at Dollar Tree, I went into three different Dollar Trees and found everything that I needed. I'm only lacking a couple of things, but I'm pretty sure if I just hit up a couple more Dollar Trees, then I'll get that. But for the most part, I got the majority of everything that I need. Now, some of the stuff that I got is for wedding centerpieces because I'm a DIY bride so I'm going to be making my own centerpieces and the other stuff that I got is just to give my apartment a little bit of a facelift you know been here for two years had the same color the same things I've been looking at and I'm ready for a change you know so I'm going to give it a bit of a facelift and throw some really nice DIY pieces in I'm going to get some new furniture pieces I'm going to change out some colors add some pops of colors we're going to get it going over here and I'm bringing you guys with me on every step of the way so the first thing I needed to do was figure out what it is that I wanted. So I searched the YT and Pinterest high and low and found so many really easy DIY things and everything comes from the Dollar Tree, you know? So I was like, okay, cool. Now, if you've been wanting to do DIY projects and you research stuff and you write your little list, you know sometimes you go to the Dollar Tree and you can't find nothing. Sis? For me, they came through. I don't know if it was a good look because baby blessed me with that Dollar Tree gift card for Christmas or if it's just the Dollar Tree really hitting, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all, I found so much stuff. Now, I'm going to show y'all. It's not in any particular order, but I will tell you what I got everything for. So, let's jump in. So, the first thing I got is ibuprofen. I live by this ibuprofen. This is a bait to me. Like, I will take these before I take any prescription pain medicine because for me, this just hits the spot. It gets that pain I'm knocked on now and I don't have to worry about any side effects or anything so i really like this and it's just an off-brand version but i get everybody hooked on that ibuprofen because it works that quick i also picked up these candle holders if y'all been following me for a while i've done some diy projects already with these and i'm actually going to take these candle holders and make a candle holder for my beauty room but don't worry i definitely will record it and it's going to be super simple because it's only these two pieces and one other piece that'll go with it so i will make sure to let you guys know how i make that because i know i'm I'm probably gonna get questions once I set it up. So I also picked up these two glass vases because this is what I want to use as the main focal point of one of my centerpieces for the wedding. I'm gonna actually make it first, see how I like it, see what I need to tweak and what I need to do differently. And if this is the way that I decide to go, then don't worry because I will record me making the other centerpieces because I'm gonna need probably about 10. But for the most part, I just went ahead and just picked up all the items that I need just to make one so I can go ahead and start because that wedding is coming too quick. <laughs> Y'all know it's 2018. New year, new me. <laughs> no, not really. But I did pick up some sandwich bags and some snack bags because I got to stop spending money out to eat. Like, that's just the end of it. Whenever I check my bank account and just balance out my finances for the end of the month to see what went out and what came in, I am spending way too much money on fast food. But if I have the supplies that I need in order to pack my lunch, pack my snacks and stuff like that, then I would actually do so it. So I really so like these sandwich bags and these snacks bags because that's what I use to actually pack my lunch and have everything already ready. So when I'm running out the door, I can woo, 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 pick up all that stuff. And if you guys want to see that, how I package my items or, you know, stuff like that, not saying everything's going to be healthy, but we're going to throw some healthy stuff in there, you know, new year, new me type stuff. <laughs> but if y'all want to see that, then let me know that too because I really do need video ideas because I'm telling y'all, 2018, we coming hard. We're going to grow this channel and we're going to have a lot of content. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that, but for the most for it. That's why I picked up those bags. So I also picked up these two floral foams because I'm going to use these in my wedding centerpieces. So yeah, as soon as I get that constructed, I will definitely show 
show you guys how I use these. So yes, I also picked up some wooden dowels. I have one DIY project in mind that I'm gonna use these on, but I went ahead and picked these up now because I have never seen these at the Dollar Tree and they will disappear because I saw them. Anybody else go through that? It's like when you see something and you don't get it, you can't never find it again. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. So although the first couple DIY projects that I do, I won't be using these, I went ahead and picked them up so I can already have them on hand. I also picked up these two pizza pans and they're not for pizza. Pizza. I'm actually gonna do a DIY project using these and I cannot wait to share their project with you guys It's gonna be a really nice staple piece for my beauty room and y'all when I say we're gonna transform this into something cute You just gotta stay tuned to see that cuz that's gonna be epic for real for real now when I saw this at the Dollar Tree I about lost my mind cuz I never in the world would have thought this would be a Dollar Tree and this is one of those Levelers that you use to like hang pictures or if you make something you just want to make sure that it's not wobbly you put this on there and just make sure that the bubble is in between the two lines and i couldn't believe this was at the dollar tree for a dollar and y'all it is like real good quality like i can't wait to use this one dollar like who told Dollar Tree about that? <laughs> now this is something that I saw and I was like Dollar Tree knew and that is ever since baby got me that wine cooler. Well before then and when y'all saw all those wine bottles, I am doing wine decor in my kitchen. Went to Dollar Tree and found this and this actually goes on the stove like over the eyes. And since our stove is ugly and old, I thought let's spruce it up a little. So I got this and then it comes with a smaller one. So I just picked up two packs of that just so I can have it and I'm going to use this in the kitchen because I'll be doing the DIY with the wine bottles and stuff and I just want that kitchen to look put together. And with those nice tins came this oven mitt and I also got this pot holder. Um, Well actually it's two pot holders and then they actually had the towels as well. So I just went ahead and picked it up to make a set. Sometimes I'm not really a matchy matchy person but in this sense like I really want the thing with my kitchen to be wine so I decided to pick up everything and Dollar Tree has even gotten better because they made the towels a heavier weight now and you can really feel it you can really feel good so yeah I picked up all of this stuff and I cannot wait to finish the kitchen so I can show you guys that because honey we grown and sexy over here now when I went into one Dollar Tree I picked up this frame it's 11 by 14 but it's brown and I was like yeah. I just spray painted and I needed the 11 by 14 because our photographer sent us this as a free portrait portrait with our engagement shoe um and I'm going to put this in a bedroom so I need to get a frame found it at Dollar Tree and I was like I ain't even doing no trip and I just spray painted well when I went to Dollar Tree today I ain't got to spray paint it because guess what I found it in black y'all <laughs> so I do have an 11 by 14 in black now I will be taking our picture putting it in here and it's going to go in the bedroom you guys will see that once I finish that um and I still haven't decided now what I'm going to do with this one um I did find a DIY where I can take this and turn Turn this into a tray you can use it in the bathroom or you know use it in your room or something so not sure what I'm gonna do with it but I definitely have it in case something come up I also picked up this clear organizer with a lid and this I'm going to make this into a very cute box not sure if I'm gonna put jewelry in it or if I'm gonna use it for like miscellaneous eyelashes or something like that but I'm going to bling this box out and it's going in my makeup room and I just cannot wait to show you how I transform this like I'm telling y'all we're gonna be lit same thing with this sign it says dream big and it is so cute but I did not get it for this purpose I actually got it to make it and use it as a DIY project It's hollow out at the back and you can hang it so if you do want to use it for that you can you know hang it on your wall or whatever but it's just a real nice size just a square uh kind of picture or whatever but yeah i will be transforming this into something totally different honey now since i went with the wine theme in the kitchen i decided i'm gonna want red to be the proper color in there so i found these cute it says take it to go cups and you get two for a dollar and these are reusable coffee cups or juice cups whatever you want to use them for but i am redoing my coffee station and i got these to go in my coffee station and baby will use this because she loves when i make her coffee before she goes to work so she will use these but i'm definitely going to pick up probably about four or five more of these two packs because she will also leave them at work she better not leave my good cups at work because these are really good cups <laughs> but yeah i just decided to get something to pop that red out in the kitchen although everything else had red in it this is for the coffee station i'll 
also picked up these wild outlet taps only because we need more plugs around here so i got this one that's a three and this one that's a six and i actually want to use this over on that bookshelf where the tv is just to try to eliminate some of that wires because it's just stuff that's crossed and i feel like since this just goes in the wall and then all the cords can go there we can keep the cords low and then i can kind of conceal all of that that's going on over there and then i just got this one just because i was like i may need it and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I've had these before. They were great. So I picked it up. <laughs> now I picked up a bunch of these beads because I'm going to use these with the vases for my wedding centerpieces. Um, and they didn't have a whole bag of clear. So I decided to get red and clear. And this was at one of the Dollar Trees. So I decided to get red and clear because again, the pop of color that's going to be in the kitchen is that red. So I'm going to take the red out of these and put these in some cute containers and put my straws in it from my coffee station so i was like hey it's gonna kill two birds with one stone because i get to do the wedding centerpieces and use these as a pop of color in the kitchen like dollar tree lid i also picked up these silver napkin ring holders these were in the wedding section of the dollar tree and they're silver and plastic but i'm going to use these in one of my diy projects so i just decided to go ahead and pick these up and i got two packs i really only need one pack but i was like they're only a dollar and if i like it as much as i think i will i'm probably gonna want to make something else so i decided to just go ahead and have one um although i do see these for, you know in the dollar tree often i still just wanted to have them on hand so yes i got these silver napkin rings now your girl went crazy and took all these off the shelf these are the led push lights and i got these because y'all i've decided what i wanted to do with my bookshelves in my beauty room and that's all i'm saying just stay tuned because i mean it's gonna be super epic but just know it's gonna be lit <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm corny y'all don't tell me in the comments I'm corny I know I am <laughs> I also picked up this glass bowl for a DIY project it's gonna be the base of something that I'm gonna put in my beauty room I love this bowl because one is very beautiful and it comes like already decorated and two is real sturdy and you don't have to worry about anything so if you are using this for a DIY project it holds up well you know I have these on my bar and I love them like they are big enough to hold stuff in because like one of them we got baby changing you know and stuff like that but yes i picked up another bowl for a diy project for my beauty room now i have got to stay out of dollar tree buying up all these people gems this is five bags of gems that i got for my wedding centerpiece can i wait to show you guys what i'm doing um but yeah i just needed a bunch of gems so yeah i picked up five bags and these are the really big gems not the small ones like the clear and red mix these are the bigger size so i have actually my wedding centerpiece and two other diys i want to use with these so i just went ahead and got five bags just so i can have enough for the stock up now this is an item i did not think i would find and these are glass cutting boards they are square i'm using this for a diy project in my beauty room and well actually i'm only going to use one but i decided to get a second one because i was like Maybe we really can use it for a cutting board. <laughs> it's super small, but maybe if I'm cutting up like eggs for a salad or shredding some chicken or something, you know, I can just do it on here. But I cannot believe it. It's glass. It's real sturdy. It's nice. Like, y'all, I'm just so excited. So, yes, I also picked up this other candle holder. It's already a candle holder by itself. It has feet on it, and you can just sit it on the table and place a candle on it. But I want to use this with the other candle holder so I can make like a taller one for my beauty room in the area that I want to put it in so yeah i picked up this candle holder now tell me why i get to another dollar tree and actually find the whole bag of those clear beads and these are the small ones so i decided to pick up two bags of these again this is a wedding centerpiece uh related so yeah i decided to do this and i just thought maybe i can interchange the big ones and the small ones but i definitely wanted to have a variety just in case i'm seeing some stuff that i'm not liking but yeah i picked up two bags of these so yeah i was in that section again and found these marbles and i found a diy project that i want to use with these to make these beautiful and, and use in my beauty room so yeah i picked up two bags of marbles i only think i need one of them but again the stock up is so real and if i like the project that i do i'm probably going to want to do a second one so i did pick up another bag of marbles and these are real live round marbles like the beads they have a flat bottom but the marbles are actually marbles so yeah i just picked up some clear ones and at the dollar tree they actually do have those in different colors so i think i saw blue red and green 
I want to say. So, yeah, if you don't, if you're not feeling just the clear ones, they also have colors. So, yes, guys, I got a problem. I picked up another glass cutting board, but this one is actually round, and this one actually is going to be used in my wedding centerpiece. Um, I just saw something that I want to try it with, so I'm going to use this. And then if it don't work and I don't like it, then I just have a round cutting board to go with the square one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a dollar. I love Dollar Tree. <laughs> I also picked up some brownie mix because brownies are the best. And baby actually like when I make brownies. So I was in the store and I saw it. So I went ahead and picked up some brownie mix. And I think I'm going to make these tomorrow because today is Friday. And I'll be at home all day tomorrow. And I'm probably going to want a treat. So yeah, brownie time tomorrow. So yes, guys, that is everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Super, super excited because I'm telling you, I found the majority of what I need. When I tell you it's serious, y'all, let me show you how serious it is. I got my phone right here. I real live have a Dollar Tree DIY project list. And pretty much on this list, it just has all of the things that I need. So when I go to a Dollar Tree, I know what I'm looking for. Because the Dollar Tree can be a little bit intimidating. And sometimes you go in and you can be like, okay, what I'm in here for? And you can get a bunch of stuff that you don't need and then you're like oh I wasted money but if you realize going there with a list and with a plan you get what you need and you can make a beautiful DIY project or you can use the stuff the way it comes like my kitchen stuff I'm not doing nothing today like that's pretty to me that's what's going in my kitchen so anyway let me show y'all how real this list is so yes baby I real got Dollar Tree DIY projects and I have everything listed of what I need and then I just check it off as I go so yes I hadn't checked anything off just yet because I was like I gotta share these with these people because I don't understand what's going on like again I have never went into the Dollar Tree and found every single thing that I was looking for um I am still on the hunt for the two pack round candle holders I need about 11 packs of those um and I am fully aware that I can order online but the thing about ordering on dollartree.com is they want you to order by the case size so whatever the case size is you will have to get that amount um and for a simple DIY projects then you know you don't need that much now when it comes to my wedding centerpieces if I like what I'm gonna do then I'm definitely gonna be ordering it offline so I can get the case get it shipped to the house or you know you can pick it up in store or whatever and you know do the thug fizzle because I ain't gonna have time to be riding around looking for you know all the materials for that but for the most part these diys that i got coming up y'all it is so and what lit. What in the mood is just i was like 2018 is gonna be an epic year i'm gonna live my best life in 2018 and for me to live my best life i just like to make crystal happy and it just makes me happy to see pretty things so yeah i'm gonna be sprucing up this whole house for you guys and i'm gonna show you we're gonna do tours show you how to make these projects i'm gonna give credit where credit is due if i got it off of youtube or if i got it off of pinterest like y'all we finna do it so i'm so excited to share this journey with you guys and hopefully everything that i do here if you want to recreate it you'll be able to find these items at your dollar tree so yeah so, now i'm finna put everything up i'll need because i am in the process of doing my makeup room which i'll be doing that big reveal for you guys on monday so you might want to stay tuned for that and go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified when i start posting these diy project videos and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces